And here they are for the 12th race. Number one, Illegal Smile, owned by William Jones, uh, Lynn Jones of Lexington, Irvin Miller Trains. It'll be Tony Morgan driving. Tony Morgan. Two is Kenan's Billy, owned by Ken Spurlock of Dyer, Indiana. Mark you, Ricky Trains. Mike Cox will be the driver. Driver change to Mike Cox. Three, Mini Me, the world champion, owned by Bob, uh, Robert, and Linda Greider, by Roger and Don Sampson of Illinois. Roger Welsh Trains. Dave McGee drives Mini Me. Four Extreme Sport, owned by HBH Standard Bread Zinc of Warrenville. Homer Hockstetler, the trainer driver. Five, Gold Dust Mike, owned by Tom Throgmorton of Carbondale. Joe Hot Trains, Tim Tietrich is up. Five, Callie's Candyman, owned by Chad Yoder of Osco. Yoder Trains, John Campbell was scheduled to drive. Six, uh, we'll have a driver's change. Seven is D.B. Brody, owned by Charles Lennon, Allen and Jackie Bowen of Illinois. Bowen Trains and Drives. 8, El Fuerte, owned by Jeff Driscoll of Carrollton, Richard Hess of Concord, Jeff Driscoll trains, Dean McGee drives. 9, Randolph Duke, owned by Chili Day Stables of Carrollton, Leo Grummel, the trainer, Brent Holland in the bike. And 10, Fox Valley Profile, owned by Katrina Rucker of Beecher, by Martin Engel of Buffalo Grove. Katrina Rucker, the trainer, Sam Widger, is driving. Ten Illinois conceived and full two-year-old Pacers in the Governor's Cup final are at the post, and the gate is rolling. Here they come. They're off and pacing, flying across the racetrack. There goes Randolph Duke, Minnie Me on the inside. Off stride, Randolph Duke. And Minnie Me has the lead now. Randolph Duke uh, battles the driver as they swing around the turn. He's still on a break. Holland trying to get him under control. Dropped in second as they race that way as Extreme Sport to the inside. Racing next as they swing around the turn. Racing toward the uh, quarter mile station. Third on the inside is Timmy Tietrich with Gold Dust Mike. Racing four. As they reach the uh, quarter and race past it toward the backstretch is Kennan's Billy and Mini Me past the quarter and uh, 27 and 3 front panel as they head now down the backstretch. He's on top by five lengths. Behind him, Extreme uh, Sport is second, racing third as they head that way is Gold Dust Mike. Fourth inside, down the backside is Randolph Duke. Racing next as they head uh, to the half mile station down the backstretch is Kennan's Billy and Mini Me has just guided him past that mark. He heads now to the upper turn off a 55 and one half. He's the only two-year-old in history with a pair of 51 two-year-old miles. He has a shot to make it three. He's got an eight-length lead. Extreme Sport is second. A battle behind him. Moving up on the outside now comes Randolph Duke third. Racing on the inside fourth as they drive around the final turn. Dropping back is Gold Dust Mike. Five. As they reach the top of the lane will be Kennan's Billy. Racing six from well off the pace is Callie's Candyman. Seven trying to move up from way, way back comes El Fierte. They're past the three-quarter. Mini Me, 123 and one. He turns for home, and in the final going, the Illinois outstanding two-year-old, the national season's leader, the only cold in the history of the sport with 251 miles, is driving to the wire for McGee. Behind him the field, the battle is for second. And here he comes to the wire. Obvious winner, and perhaps a million-dollar bonus winner, Mini Me and Dave McGee. Under the wire, second, Callie's Candyman. Finishing third was El Fierte. Four to Extreme Sport. Final check might have gone to Fox Valley Profile. That's a photo. 152 flat. He is by incredible finale from the Dragon's Lair Mother, the Dragon Flu. Bred by the owners, the... Trophy for breeding this champion will also go to that group. And ladies and gentlemen, into DuCoin's victory lane. With now nine starts in a career that might just carry him on to national prominence. Here's the great mini me. We aren't the only ones who have confidence in Mini-Me. Somewhere, either on track or at an outlet, wagered $50,000 on Mini-Me to win.